What is going on you guys? I am James Jr. Jeff Tiles and today's video we're going to be talking again about ball pythons. Now I've definitely made a lot of moves um, since the last video I think I had the one snake, um, the enclosure, and I might have bought a rat for it and it probably didn't eat. Um, in today's video I have a second snake with a second enclosure, um, a thermostat, and leads on a male. So First off, let's check on the first snake and see how it's doing. So I'm gonna scoot my laptop aside and we'll pull down this first snake. Now this snake did finally shed, but she still doesn't wanna eat. So she is a Mojave spider and she's very beautiful. She'll strike at food all day long. I don't know if you can tell she's looking at me. Uh, she's a little thin, about 1250 1280 grams um i'd love to breed her this year but she's really have to start eating um like you know i'd love to produce some spider mojave in whatever male i'll talk about the male i'm getting in a little bit but i'd love to have her breeding with him um but she's not eating yet so if you have any suggestions on how to get her to eat that'd be great um i tried a small i left it in overnight and she looked at it all night long struck at it a couple times but that's about it so i fed it off to something else um i still wrote it in the in the expense report because i bought a small just because she didn't eat doesn't mean i didn't pay for it um so yep hopefully she starts eating and all will be grand Now, this next snake is an adult female, pastel. She is at least 2,000 grams. She's very large. Um, I've had her about a week now, and she's eaten, well, five or six days, she's eaten like four rats. Uh, so I keep bringing home two rats at a time, and she, the other one doesn't eat them, and this one eats them. So she ate two on Wednesday, didn't, bring home any and then on Thursday and then on Friday she ate two more and she's definitely huge I'm honestly nervous about picking her up because you know I don't know this animal all that well but I will pick her up she's just gigantic her head is huge her body's huge I mean I'd be crazy to say she's not ovulating not that I know what ovulation looks like but just look at how thick or round her body is um, she doesn't have a hide yet. I just have to go to Dollar Tree and get one. But I'm honestly afraid if I put a hide in there, she might not fit in it really. Um, she did poopy. I do gotta clean her poopy. Um, so I bought this from a local guy who was in a rough situation. He sold her for a uh, buck fifty is what I got her for, and a hundred fifty dollars on a buck fifty. Um, and you know, it's you know for the Spider Mojave for sixty dollars, that was an insane deal. This for one fifty. It's all right. This is more like what you guys are gonna find a one gene animal for $150 an adult female. And I asked him to. I said, look, I know you're selling because you need money, but is there any reason she wouldn't be able to breed? Because my plans are to try to breed her this year. And he was straight up with me. I've sold him uh, roaches in the past. He said he said she should be great. You know, she pounds food. She's amazing. Uh, he has never bred her, but this would be the year to breed her. And she's just swelling up and looks great. So that being said, let's talk about the male I plan on getting. Um, so I did, I almost bought an adult clown male from him, from the same guy for, well, he wanted a hundred dollars for it. And I offered him 75 and he said, you know, he couldn't go that low. I said, Hey, that's fine. I still would like to buy that female. Um, and later that day, my boss actually said, you know, hey, I don't want to see you buy a one gene animal. Um, that's, you know, a slow start ahead. It's a really slow start to your ball python game. He's a big ball python breeder, my boss. He said, look, I have this one animal that he traded for some rodents to one of our really good customers. And he's it's the only animal left in quarantine. And it does this weird jaw thing when it's defensive. And he's kind of nervous about it. Um, about putting it in his collection. Um, 
Now, it's not an RI. I want to state that real quick. There's no bubbling. There's no smearing on the tub. It's not doing any of that kind of stuff. It's just this male. It's an adult male that's been bred that, you know, is kind of a picky eater and opens its mouth defensively. That's that's from the, from the previous owner, from our customer. That's what I've heard. Now, he bought it from someone else. I forget who. And he bought the daughter. And so it's an all white snake, but having the original breeder having produced with this male, we know it is a super fire pinstripe pastel. So with this snake, I can make all fires. I can make, you know, normal pastel, super pastels. And I can also make pinstripes. So I can, I have the potential to make a fire pinstripe super pastel. I don't know if there's a name. Ball pythons, I'm not too familiar with. So if there's a name that I miss, or you know, if I don't say things right, that's why. Um, now, moving it, moving aside, I, I told him I said, hey, keep that mail for me. I definitely want to pick that mail up. But at the time being, did my computer just die? No. Okay. Okay. Now, I would love to pick that mail up right now. But as a lot of you guys know. I am moving in about a week and a half, um, so we're busy packing up, um, and you know all my money is going towards that. You know we're paying a deposit, first month's rent, all that fun stuff. Um, so I don't have a lot of money for that right now, and it definitely, in a way, affects the project because you know you would be able to just pick one up. I mean, not always. You know, if if if. We, when I get the chance to pick them up, I'll pick them up, but it'll probably be three or four weeks from this point. Uh, well, you're, see you're seeing this on Thursday, so maybe two or three weeks. But let me put her aside and we'll talk about where we stand on the uh, expense report. And let me give you some of my thoughts. So we are, so one six, we, we talked about one one last week. Uh, let's look at one six. So, I bought the adult female for 150. I put in the notes crushing food. Then the water dish is a dollar. Um, the tub with the hole is twelve dollars. Again, borrow a drill if you don't have one. The rodents I bought a couple small rats throughout the week, so I threw that in there. And I put the herb stat. Now I bought a herb stat for. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. No, I bought a herb stat for, and including shipping, it was about 350 right off of their website. So that's what I listed it as. Now, I only have two snakes right now, and honestly, if you were using it for a rack, you'd only have to use one of them, so you get a cheaper thermostat. But honestly, if I'm being 100% with you guys, until this gets in the green, I'm probably not gonna buy a rack because I personally I can't just swing it. You know, I have. Uh, I can't dip into my other pockets that deep. Um, you know, that all my money is allocated in other places. Um, so for the time being, they're all gonna be in tubs and each tub's gonna get a heat mat. So this is where we stand right now, 630 at 325. What's gonna happen in the future? We're gonna get a hide for her, hide for the male, water dish for the male, tub for the male, right? The male, so right there, that's another like $220. And then about 45 to $60 in heat mats. So that's one thing I don't have right now is heat on any of these snakes. I have them, um, and that's that's probably why that other girl isn't eating, because it's kind of cooler. Um, you know, my house ambient is mid to, mid to low 70s, uh, but they are chilling right next to a leopard gecko rack that's at about 92. Um, so they're not freezing by any means. Uh, but they will have their own heat in the next two or three days. I'm prob probably tomorrow I'm going to go to the store. Um, and I'm not too worried about it. You know, if they're off heat for a couple of days, it's not the end of the world. It's just like, it's like if you took them to a show over the weekend, that's exactly how they would be. Now, the plan is to pick up that mail. And at that point, we'll probably be um about nine hundred dollars in the hole uh and you know it'll it, it won't really jump any more than that it'll just be you know every two or three days i'll buy two or three rats 
and it'll go up six dollars or something like that um, and then once I have babies or once I produce eggs we'll start seeing the food bill go up we'll see egg containers we'll see vermiculite and probably an incubator because even though I have an incubator I have to charge that to this because if you're just breeding snakes and you probably don't have one already so if I had to guess and then we're gonna have to feed the babies when they hatch um, if I had to guess I would say around fifteen hundred dollars by the time I would say max fifteen hundred by the time we start producing babies but I also will say that I think given my male's genetics that I am gonna get and this female down here so I can so with this female down here I can make fire pastel pinstripe uh, spider mojaves you know that's a five gene animal granted they're all co-dominants or dominants um, that's a five gene animal I can sell those for a couple hundred dollars you know what why am I even talking to you I can look it up on morph market um, now I could dive into the percentages and all this, but I want to go on Morph Market right now, and I'm going to tell you what some of these cost. Um, so let's do Spider, Mojave, Pastel, Pinstripe, and then what was your other name? Oh, Fire. There's none available, so. I don't know what a firefly pinstripe is. I'm assuming it's a fire pastel pinstripe. And it's selling for $500. So I imagine with more genes in there, you know, the first year, even if, even if the Mojave spider girl doesn't go, if I can make fire super pastel pinstripes, you know, I'd be happy. Let me, let me look that up. Um, fire pinstripe super pastel fire super pastel pinstripes are only $250 oh wow okay I mean I guess but you know if I can produce two or three two or three animals that are $250 I can really easily start to catch up and then it gets it just kind of gets slower you know we might go back up to zero sorry I scared her we might go back up to zero get really close and then I might buy another $200 snake. And then the next year we might go up to like $500 and then I might buy a rack. And then the next year we might make $1,000 and then I might buy like two more snakes and a baby rack. So it is gonna sit around zero for a long time. And honestly, the goal is to always have it close to zero but never in the negative. So, if we're actually investing and we're trying to make a million dollars breeding ball pythons, I think the key is to really know what I want to allocate my money to and to not let my money sit around. So if I know, now if I know that I can, if I wait three years, I can save up X amount of money and buy a nice snake. Well, what if I instead of saving ten thousand dollars over three years what if i took my first thousand dollars and i bought a bunch more adult females and then you know in three years instead of having ten thousand dollars because i waited i you know maybe one of the females didn't go but the other two went now i have twenty thousand so these are just things to think about um so we are in the hole i do expect to go deeper in the hole before anything major happens you know we do have to get a mail we have to set them up we have to feed more and then we have to incubate the eggs and then we have to then we have to put the babies somewhere I didn't even think about that um, I'll probably end up building a rack or finding one on Craigslist or some or Facebook uh, but yeah I want to show you guys this girl I want to show you the update report and talk about the mail that I'm getting and kind of the plan for him um, so I'm gonna keep feeding her like I'm feeding her and hopefully we'll get some babies in the next couple months and this project can go into the green. Anyway, I'm James from Doom Chef Tiles. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that definitely helps out the channel. And if you want to make a million dollars, make sure to hit the notification bell so you see when I post. These videos about ball pythons are going to come out every Thursday. And I can't wait for you guys to see them. So, 
anyway, peace out, have a good day.